More on that breaking news we just brought to you minutes ago. We just confirmed there's an active situation inside Olmsted Falls High School. The Board of Education tell us, tells us that there is a perimeter set up around the high school. We do know that police and fire are on the scene, and our own Kristen Byrne is on the scene as well. She just arrived there. She joins us live now by phone. Kristen, set up the situation for us. Yeah, I just got to actually to the middle school. It, it, what it is is it, the situation is going on at the high school. However, from what I'm hearing from a parent here at the middle school, the kids are being bused here so parents can pick them up. And I'm going to pass the phone over uh, to a parent named Lori. Her daughter's been texting her. Lori, uh, tell, tell everyone what your daughter has been saying. Hi there. Uh, my daughter uh, texted me just a few moments ago to let me know that there was a bomb threat at the high school and that they were under the bleachers outside and that they were going to be bused to the middle school. Um, she just texted me again saying that they were getting on the buses and they're on their way. So we are waiting at the middle school. Thank you so much, Lori. So again, hearing from a parent that students are being bused from the high school to the middle school, and I'm seeing the buses arrive right now as parents wait uh, to pick up their kids at the middle school. But this situation, the bomb threat, according to this parent, is happening at the high school. For now, I'm going to try to gather some more information, but that's what we know for now, guys. All right, hey, Kristen, before Kristen. we let you go, is this something, can you ask Lori, is this something normal uh, that, that they do when there is a bomb threat? Because bomb threats happen a lot in other schools. Sure. My God, the anchor is asking me, Lori, if this is something when a bomb threat happens with them busing. I know for, for sure, Mike, the ones I've covered, yes, they bus them to a different location so parents can pick them up. But for this parent, it, it, this is the first time you've, yeah, this is the first time for her that she's ever experienced this type of thing. But yes, we've covered some of the past where they do uh, remove them to a different location so uh, just to keep the kids safe. All right, we know that you want to uh, get off the phone right now and go gather some more information. Kristen, thank you so much. This is important sure. because you have been able to confirm for us that this is a bomb threat. I mean, it's ridiculous what is on uh, social media right now. Uh, just guesses all over the place. Uh, but, but what we are hearing now is that it is a bomb threat and that the high school has been evacuated and students are on their way somewhere else. All right, so uh, we're going to have a whole lot more on NewsNet. 5.com in terms of updates. So stay tuned there. Also, during Good Morning America, we will also have updates. Okay. Uh, thanks for joining us. We're going to send you to um, Good Morning America, and we will be back with updates throughout the morning.